In this video, we're going to look at something called inductive reasoning. In inductive reasoning, you look at a group of events and try to determine what will happen next. For example, it rained yesterday, it rained the day before yesterday, it rained the day before that. I would, by inductive reasoning, think it's going to rain tomorrow. That's inductive reasoning. You don't know for sure it's going to happen, but it looks like by looking at some facts, that's going to. Here we're looking at a sequence of numbers. First term of my sequence, second term of my sequence, third term of my sequence, fourth term of my sequence. And my question is, what would be the fifth term? We're going to use inductive reasoning. If we look at it, we see what's happened is it's added 3 to get from the first to the second. It's added 3 to get from the second to the third. It's added 3 to get from the 3rd to the 4th. I would then deduce that I would add 3 to get the next term. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 3, that's 17. So my 6th term would be 17. In the next sequence of numbers, there are again terms. 1st term, 2nd term, 3rd term, 4th term. And I want to find the fifth term. Well, what's happening this time is I am not adding. I am subtracting 2. Subtract 2. Subtract 2. So what would my fifth term be? I would subtract 2 from 1. Well, 1 less than 1 is 0. And 1 less than 0 is negative 1. So I would say that my fifth term would be negative 1. We'll subtract 2 again. To get the 6th term, 2 less than negative 1 is minus 3. And what happens to the next one? We're not adding or subtracting. Now we are multiplying by something. Multiply by 2. Multiply by 2. Multiply by 2. So I would think to get my 5th term, I would multiply 24 by 2 and get 48. How about the 6th term? 48 times 2. 96. Hope that gets you to realize inductive reasoning, looking at a group of events to try to determine what will happen next. Hope this helps you. Have a very happy day.